Hi everyone, this is Frank. Today we're diving into the exciting world of the YOLO Box series to uncover the top CPU and GPU consuming features. Why does it matter, you ask? Well, buckle up because it directly affects your user experience. Further, we also would like to clarify some important details regarding the encoding performance limitations of Ultra, which has been a topic of interest among many of you. Picture this. You're live streaming away, and suddenly, your UI starts lagging, your frame rates drop, and some functions just vanish into thin air. Frustrating, right? That's all thanks to CPU consumption, folks. It's like the behind the scenes hero or villain of your content creation journey. So, what exactly is gobbling up all that CPU power? Let me break it down for you in three juicy categories. First up, we've got compute intensive tasks. We're talking about encoding, decoding, adjusting audio levels, mixing, processing, all the heavy duty stuff that goes into making your content shine. Plus, let's not forget about decoding USB camera feeds and handling all those GIFs, PDFs, and image overlays. Phew, talk about a CPU workout. Next, we've got IO performance. This is where we get into the nitty gritty of reading and writing actions on your storage devices like SD cards. Why does it matter? Well, think ISO recording and multi-channel replays. Your storage device is like the unsung hero of the operation. Last but not least, we've got memory copying. This is what happens when you've got multiple HDMI inputs, USB audio inputs, and high frame rate previews and captures going on. It's like a digital ballet with the CPU juggling all those data bits like a pro. Now, here's the kicker. Not all CPU consumption is created equal. In fact, we've got approximate weighting for you, six for compute intensive tasks, three for I.O. performance, and one for memory copying. That's right, some tasks pack a heavier punch than others. So there you have it, folks, the scoop on CPU consumption and why it matters for your YOLO Box Ultra journey. All right, now, we'll use the three mentioned categories along with their weights as indicators to visually compare the performance consumption levels of various functions. At the top of the gradient are USB input and output and inviting guest both of which consume CPU in compute intensive tasks, IO performance, and memory copying. Next up is network bonding, which stands alone in its CPU consumption involving compute intensive tasks and IO performance. In other words, the weighting index is nine and more channels increase consumption and a poor network exacerbates it. Following that, we have CPU usage, which encompasses compute intensive tasks and memory copying with a weighting index of seven. Functions corresponding to this index include GIF overlay, web URL overlay, and NDI input. Additionally, GIF overlay consumption depends on GIF size, resolution, and frame rate. And the consumption of web URL overlay varies depending on the complexity and size of the web page. NDI input is primarily influenced by input resolution and frame rate. The consumption of HDMI input and output only involves the most significant weighting index of compute intensive tasks, as well as increased consumption with more channels. In the functionalities where CPU consumption has a weighting index of 4, the increasing channels also contribute to the normal CPU load for ISO recording. The consumption of NDI out increases with the output channel count. Additionally, functionalities involving I.O. performance and memory copying include local video playback, network video playback, instant replay, and RTMP streaming. It's recommended to disable instant replay when not needed. All right, folks, let's talk GPU consumption and how it impacts your YOLOBOX Ultra experience. Now, when it comes to your videos, GPU is where the magic happens. Here's the lowdown on what's hogging up that GPU power. First up, we've got recording multiple 1080p60 streams. This is like juggling multiple balls in the air at once, but with video streams instead. Next on the list is recording and live streaming in 4K. That's right, we're talking about ultra high definition content here, and it takes some serious GPU muscle to handle it. Then we've got multiple outputs. Think HDMI, UVC, SRT, NDI, 
It's like having your content appear in multiple places at once, and your GPU is the mastermind behind the scenes. Now let's talk about rendering multi-window layouts for multiple inputs in a live switch. It's like creating a digital masterpiece with all your video feeds, and your GPU is the artist bringing it to life. Up next, we've got simultaneous screen displays. This is when you're showing your content on multiple screens at the same time, and your GPU is working overtime to make it happen. Transition animations come next on our list. These are like the flashy effects that make your video transitions smooth and seamless, and your GPU is the magician pulling off the tricks. Last but not least, we've got green screen keying. This is where you can transport yourself to any virtual background, and your GPU is the key to making it look natural and flawless. So, here's the deal. The Ultra's encoding performance maxes out at 1080p 220fps. Now, what does that mean? Well, it means that if you're live streaming in 4K at 30fps, it's essentially like streaming at 1080p 120fps in terms of the system's encoding load. Now, this becomes crucially important when you're live streaming and recording simultaneously. Let's say you're streaming in 4K at 30fps while also recording at the same resolution and frame rate. This essentially doubles your encoding load to 240fps, which exceeds the Ultra's 220fps limit. But fear not, there's a workaround for those of you who want to both stream and record in 4K. Simply adjust your recording settings to 4K 24fps and voila! The encoding load for recording drops to 96fps. Combine that with the 120fps load from streaming at 4K 30fps, and you're well within the Ultra's capabilities at 216fps. Recently, we've been testing the updated version of Ultra. Here's some exciting news to share with everyone. In the upcoming remote control feature, web and app control, you'll be able to monitor the real-time CPU usage of the device on the device status interface, ensuring that live activities are conducted in a well-functioning environment. And it's worth noting that this feature update is currently limited to Ultra. In summary, it's crucial for us as users and creators to carefully manage our encoding resources. By making these adjustments, we can ensure that our live streams, recordings, and replays maintain high quality without pushing the Ultra beyond its performance limitations. If you're interested in our products and enjoyed this video, please subscribe for more videos. Also, if you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to join our Facebook user group where lots of our customers share their user cases. This is Frank and I will see you in the next video.